Alrighty, let's take a look at this. I'm gonna go uh, big things first. And I think when I'm looking at a couple of things here, A overall, it feels a bit slow. This from the top view, it's not too bad, but there's something about, it's almost as if, and you can pick a frame through here, as if you wanna take the whole route and move it over by maybe this much, which might be too much. Maybe split that difference. It's an ever so slight feel of it leaning back. So, and it also stems from how far or not far enough the back legs go this way. The other thing is, I wouldn't go, especially with this one, so high. They're mostly flat in how they get on the ground. As much as I remember, I should double check on the reference, but really as far as I remember, they don't do the human foot up thing. But I would go further back and then watch out for your cycle. As your foot goes back, you start to let me take this drawing out so you can see how it goes back a certain amount, and then here you kind of lock. So they don't, they don't continue to go back, a little back arc, and then forward. So if you would take this um, cycle and go from A to B, it would start to slide during that section. So make sure there's always an even amount. It's my awesome spacing here. <laughs> my even amount going back. And I would probably also vary the time and give it some texture where it's kind of slower and fast. So get a bit more weight and gravity through there. And the same thing, especially on the back ones. So through here, I wouldn't go forward as soon. I would stay around here to be a lot lazier with the lift. And same thing with the paws. At this point, I would still have them curl back. And only at the very end, through here-ish, they shoot forward and, and do kind of a lazy flip and, and um, step. So they're, they're a bit too reachy, as in they turn around this way too soon and go toes out, reaching, searching for that plant. The cats are much lazier, the big cats especially. Uh, speaking of toes, watch out. You don't want this to be in a constant spreading pose. Some crazy, crazy townness here. Um, those angles are cool. I like that. Those angles are nice. Uh, and then on your spreading, I think this is pretty good. You definitely want some spreads here as it puts pressure on that paw, but then you can kind of relax it a bit, don't continue, and then right through here as this leg gets off the ground and all the weight is being transferred onto this leg, that means there's more pressure on here, which is going to spread these guys out. So right when this gets off the ground, you want a bit more spreading on the toes there. Um, so yeah, big thing is it feels a bit leaning back, they're a bit slow and even, not far enough on here. Your scapulas feel like they're very isolated, where I don't feel like when this goes up that it also rotates the chest away from us from this point, so it feels that, like you're engaging only the shoulder controllers, but not really the chest. The up and down here is not too bad, but I think overall you can give this a bit more weight, a bit more impact on these sections when Boom, when he takes that step, you want you want to raise in there, in there meaning the chest, and then right through this section as it drops and this flattens out, you're going to have a, a drop in the chest and then a delayed drag overlap on the head and then a little bit of an impact. So as it takes another step and plants through here, bam, that's going to push up the shoulder scapula thingy and then it's going to change the chest a bit but that impact boom is going to ripple through into the head so we'll definitely look out for that so those little harsher impacts same thing here as this goes and plants here bam it's going to shoot up and give it a bit of a harsher impact on the hips so it just feels overall just a bit soft through there These are to me the biggest things I would work on. Take a look at the tail next time because I think there's, you know, there's a bit more timing stuff to do and weight stuff, you know, sections. So, you know, as this changes that up and down and then your impact through all of this, that's going to also then change the timing of the tail and so on. So I would work on um, the big beats first. Alrighty, that's about it for this one. Thank you. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.